Simpson Tun dispatches Middlesex fears of defeat. A new career best of 206 from Michael Jones put Durham on top of the say at Unique Riverside. Their total of 421 for seven declared would no doubt have been much more had rain not denied them more time. Middlesex were up and running at the end of day two, 43 for none after a steady start by Robson and Stoneman. But they struggled to get going at the resumption. Tight lines bowled by Potts, Rushworth and Rain, and Stoneman succumbed. Out caught behind for 19 off Ben Rain. They'd added just three to the total in 45 minutes. Eskenazi would push them past 50 with a lovely drive back past Rushworth, but it wasn't too long before Robson departed, out caught low down by McIntosh off McAllendon. It was some really excellent bowling from Durham, and soon they had a third. Eskenazi out caught by Maddinson for McAllendon's second. They ended the session on 89 for three, trailing now by 332. A fine start with the ball by the hosts. Milan and Holden took them to three figures after the break the mark reached when the South African whipped Potts away for four through point, and their partnership was soon worth 50 from 68 balls with two off Rushworth. But the Durham veteran responded with the next ball. Milan out caught by a diving Maddinson at square leg for 33. Holden and Simpson picked up the baton, and once again Middlesex showed their mettle, Holden the more attacking of the pair. With another boundary from the number five, the partnership was worth 50 off 67 balls. Simpson then pushed them to 200 runs with three off Borthwick. That put Holden back on strike, and he departed two balls later, caught by Beddingham three runs shy of a 50. Holman had a front row seat to watch Simpson go to his 50, scored off 66 balls, and reached with a bludgeoned four off Borthwick. After facing 63 together, the pair put on 50 for the sixth wicket, and in the process brought up the 250. Holman had added 25 when he was sold, shouldering arms to Matty Potts. T taken with Middlesex 6 down and 19 away from avoiding the follow-on. Roland Jones joined Simpson in the middle, the number 8 in decent nick with the bat over recent weeks, and the pair guided Middlesex through the early stages, the deficit below 150 soon enough, and any fears of the follow-on were dealt with. Roland Jones brought up the 300 with two off rain, but he would fall LBW to Rushworth having contributed 35. Soon enough, the deficit was down into double figures, and Simpson was now hunting 100. With a beautifully timed drive through the covers to Ben Rain, Simpson's 11th four, he brought up his 100, scored from 138 balls. Middlesex were heading for parity now, the 50-run partnership reached off just 55 balls. When they walked off for the close of play, Middlesex were four runs from putting level with their hosts, and the match was almost certainly heading for a draw. That was largely down to the excellent innings of John Simpson, unbeaten on 132 at the close. Time has almost run out for Durham, and barring something special on the final day, they'll have to settle for a share of the spoils.